Hello everyone myself Dr Parth and today I am going to teach you about leukopoiesis that is WBC production now before I start this video I request you to check the playlist and see my video on hematopoiesis so that it will be easy to understand this lecture all right so the all process of leukocyte production begin with hematopoietic stem cell in the bone marrow hematopoietic stem cell will get committed to the myeloid stem cell myeloid committed lineage stem cell will form and under the effect of interleukin 3 5 and granulocyte colony stimulating factor the most immature premature cell of wbc series is formed that is myeloblast which will differentiate into pro myelocyte and from the pro myelocyte there will be production of myelocyte which will differentiated into meta myelocyte from the meta myelocyte there will be production of band cell and finally there will be granulocyte production so that is the leukopoiesis process and now friends uh, make your concept clear that leukocyte white blood cell can be divided into two variety granulocyte and non granulocyte granulocyte is having the specific granule which can be seen microscopically by lisman stain right or any romanovsky stain the example of granulocytes are neutrophil eosinophil and basophil while the example of non granulocyte is monocyte and lymphocyte they doesn't have any specific granule they doesn't have specific granule that is seen microscopically the example is lymphocyte and monocyte today i am going to teach you a morphology of granulocytes right we will did we will be discuss granulopoiesis in the detail these are the step of formation of neutrophil you know the process begin with myeloblast that is differentiated into pro myelocyte from which there is a production of myelo meta myelo and band cell but they are the neutrophilic series and neutrophil finally form similarly in the eosinophil the process begin with myeloblast that is differentiated into pro myelo then myelo meta myelocyte band cell and eosinophil but here the myelocyte is eosinophilic having the red granule similarly in the basophil you know myelocyte contain the black granule or else the morphology of premature cell is similar let's uh, let's discuss the morphology of myeloid precursor cell so the first immature premature cell of wbc series myeloid series is a myeloblast which is a 12 to 20 micron in the size if we talk about the nuclear characteristic of myeloblast then the nucleus is very large very immature and it's having a very high nc ratio you know the nucleus is having a very diffuse fine chromatin it is a most immature chromatin not condensed you know the chromatin is very diffuse and the delicate onstein portion in the nucleus can be seen which is known by the name nucleoli 2 to 5 multiple nucleoli can be seen and the nucleus is oval to irregular in the shape not round the round nucleus is seen in pro erythroblast so here it is oval irregular nucleus and the cytoplasm is very scanty and the light blue color you can see in this image a morphology of myeloblast most immature cell of myeloid precursor all right the second immature cell of myeloid series is pro myelocyte myeloblast differentiated into pro myelocyte this pro myelocyte is having the 15 to 25 micron in the size the nucleus is very large and very high nc ratio but as compared to myeloblast here the chromatin is slightly condensed there is a slight chromatin condensation there will be 2 to 3 nucleoli you know nucleoli doesn't disappear it is still present in the nucleus golgi zone can be seen you know it's a pale area near the nucleus that is the site of granule production it's a pale area near the nucleus that is the site of granule production the so golgi zone can be seen and you know nucleus is usually centrally located but slightly eccentric location also can be seen if we talk about the cytoplasm of the promyelocyte then it's a light blue color and from the promyelocyte series of the cell granules will appear so there will be primary azeurophic granules in the cytoplasm so that is the morphology of promyelocyte here you can see a morphology of promyelocyte right all right nucleoli can be seen now third differentiated cell of the wbc series of the myeloid series is a myelocyte it's a small cell with a 10 to 20 micron in the size if we talk about the nucleus of myelocyte then nucleus is slightly small 
there will be no nucleoli you know chromatin is partially condensed the chromatin condensation begin from the myelocyte right the chromatin is partially condensed and the nucleus is round to oval and it is eccentrically located you know round to oval nucleus and the location is eccentric all right now if we talk about the cytoplasm then you know the cytoplasm is pink blue color now friends as we have seen you know you can predict the future of myelocyte we can say that whether it will be converted into neutrophil eosinophil or basophil so specific granule will appear if the specific granule is of pink blue color then obviously it is a neutrophilic myelocyte from which finally neutrophil will form in the future so it will form a neutrophil neutrophilic myelocyte suppose the myelocyte is having the orange red granule then it is known by the name eosinophilic myelocyte from which there will be production of eosinophil in the future if the granule is blue black color then it is known by the name basophilic myelocyte from which basophil will form in the future now fourth differentiated cell of myeloid series is metamyelocyte it's a small and 10 to 20 micron in the size it's uh, similar to that of myelocyte you know but only difference is that in the nucleus the nucleus is kidney shape or indented in nature you know the nucleus is having indentation which can be seen in this diagram so that is the only difference otherwise no nucleoli is present chromatin is condensed and the nucleus is eccentrically located you know nucleus is eccentrically located cytoplasm if we talk about the cytoplasm then obviously it's a light pink blue color like like that of myelocyte and like that of myelocyte here also there will be pro, there will be presence of specific granule which will determine the fate of metamyelocyte if there is a if there is a pink blue granule then it's a neutrophilic metamyelocyte which will form a neutrophil in the future if granule is of red orange color then it is a eosinophilic metamyelocyte and it will form a eosinophil in the future if the granule is you know a blue black color then obviously it is differentiated from basophilic myelocyte into basophilic metamyelocyte and so it will get converted into basophil in the future all right now band cell the fifth differentiated cell is a band cell it's a small and having the 10 to 12 micron size if we talk about the nucleus of band cell then you know the nucleus is a u shape or i i want to say that it's a band shape nucleus which you can see in this diagram it's a band shape nucleus so you know uh, there will be parallel edge presence in the nucleus it's a u shape if you observe carefully it's a typically u shaped nucleus band like nucleus and you know chromatin is condensed if we talk about the cytoplasm then it's a pink blue color and here also there will be presence of specific granule from which the neutrophil eosinophil or basophil will form you know if the granule is of pink blue color then neutrophil will form if the granule is of uh, red orange color then obviously eosinophil will form and if the granule specific granule is blue black color then obviously this cell is formed from the basophilic myelometamyelocyte and so basophil will form now let's see the morphology of segmented neutrophil also known by the name polymorphonuclear neutrophil it's having is the most mature cell and it's having the 10 to 15 micron in the size the nucleus is you know very condensed and there is a presence of 2 to 5 lobes that will be connected by thin chromatin strand because of presence of multiple lobe it is given the name polymorphs or polymorphonuclear neutrophil the cytoplasm is light pink blue colored right and you know it's having a small evenly distributed pink blue granule all right this cell is formed from the neutrophilic myelo and metamyelocyte right and the band cell and then neutrophil so you can see a uh, two to five lobes in the neutrophil okay now let's see about the eosinophil it's having the 10 to 15 micron in the size 
If we talk about the nucleus, then it is a typically bilobe nucleus. Mostly bilobe nucleus is present. It looks like a spectacles, you know, spectacle shape. That's why the name, uh, you know, bilobe nucleus is given. That's a characteristic and the chromatin is obviously condensed. If we talk about the cytoplasm, then it's a light pink blue color. And classically eosinophil is having red orange granule. It is formed from the eosinophilic myelocyte, metamyelocyte, band cell and then eosinophil will form. Alright, now let's talk about the basophil. So the basophil is having 9 to 12 micron in the size and the nucleus is you know round to oval and condensed chromatin. Chromatin is very condensed and the nucleus is round to oval. Okay. Cytoplasm is pink blue colored. If we talk about the cytoplasm then it's a pink blue color. The main characteristic feature of basophil is that it's having the large coarse dark color purple black granule. The granule is purple black and it's a very large coarse. And you know, it's so large that it obscure the, obscure the nucleus. You know, you cannot see the nucleus uh, clearly in the basophil. So that is the most characteristic feature of basophil. So thanks for watching and I hope that this, will, this video will make your fundamental clear about the morphology of, you know, uh, myeloid series cell. This is the reference book for my today's lecture. So thank you very much and I will be right back with a new video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.